thank you very much so thank you very much colleagues it was very informative i was looking at the presentations thank you very much it is always a learning uh, for us uh, uh, while uh, listening to the different experiences uh, for the region as other regions are facing this uh, emro region is also facing uh, in core outbreaks uh, for such a long time maybe a decade or more than that and uh, there are uh, many countries uh, who are endemic for cholera as well like afghanistan djibouti iran iraq pakistan somalia sudan and yemen and uh, they are reporting cases on regular basis and uh, most of the cases which were reported from emro was in 2017 uh, where this uh, yemen outbreak was reported after that in uh, 1819 as well 19 somalia and uh, sudan was also reporting in the current era uh, afghanistan pakistan somalia and yemen uh, they are continuously reporting uh, cholera cases uh, the recent outbreak which has been reported is in pakistan and uh, uh, just a brief for the pakistan initially it was started uh, uh which was reported from aga khan in uh, one of the provinces in pakistan and now it has been over the period of two months it has been reported from uh, almost almost all the provinces of pakistan mm -hmm. uh, uh, we haven't have a epidemiological link uh, province to province but the cases which are reported in the province uh, they are they have epidemiological links and uh, Uh, same like uh, other in afghanistan uh, which is also reporting awd cases uh, which the outbreak was started and reported uh, uh, last year um, uh, and now the most of the cases which are concentrated are uh, near pakistan border uh, in afghanistan as well same for somalia and yemen they are continuously reporting cases over the period of time there are dips and peaks of the cases uh, reported uh, Uh, from these countries uh, i will i will discuss more why it is going on so this was the overall uh, situation in, uh, in the region so i will just present like uh, regional public health response what we are doing we are supporting all these countries uh, uh, for uh, cholera support and uh, uh, as you see that in pakistan afghanistan somalia uh, thanks to gtfcc uh, we are implementing uh, ocv Uh, we are supporting countries to develop icg request and supporting them for the implementation of the ocv as well other than ocv we are also coordinating with the wash actors uh, in the countries and uh, aligning our activities uh, accordingly and uh, we are also participating as a regional uh, office we are participating uh, with the uh, gtc gtfcc technical working groups uh, Uh, for uh, surveillance hotspot mapping and all these and guidelines and guiding documents we are also working on cross border uh, collaboration uh, like with afghanistan and pakistan for cholera response as well as uh, many countries like gcc and other developed countries who are reporting imported cases we are also in contact with other regions and the countries thanks to them and they are very much uh, um, coordinating with us and we are generating uh, response cross border and plus cross region as well uh, uh, the, our uh, progress towards the road map um, 2030 so many of the countries uh, they are uh, establishing uh, multi sectoral cholera national task force uh, with regional working groups involving of all the relevant uh, stakeholders which involves partners plus uh, line ministries as well and uh, development of uh, multi sector cholera outbreak response plan enhance surveillance and incentive to report awd or cholera uh, enhance detection and uh, uh, confirmation capabilities in outbreak settings uh, 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 ocv roll out uh, resource mobilization uh, through sectoral uh, multi sectoral approaches so these are the uh, areas uh, which we think that we are moving towards uh 2030 goal at least these are uh, there in many of the countries so for this uh, road map uh, how we can achieve uh, the targets of the road map we have strengths and challenges in the region so i will just narrate strengths uh, uh cholera is a notifiable disease uh in most of the countries they have to notify 
and they are notifying the, uh, the cholera cases. Uh, leadership and coordination role is with uh, relevant governments uh, with the support of WHO and partners. Preparedness activities are in place. Uh, capacity building, logistic supplies, uh, uh, these during the outbreaks, most of the, these uh, uh, preparedness activities are for Pakistan. Uh, this is the first time that OC will be implemented. And yeah, Mohammed, looks like we have uh, we have difficulties hearing you because you are breaking. So, uh, but luckily, the the, the technical the issue happened when you were Sorry. almost at the end of the presentation. Can you hear us? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like we, we we've lost uh, Mohammed. So, uh, yeah, so Mohammed, if you can hear me, please stay online because we are going probably to have questions for, for you. Uh, let me move uh, to uh, Vincent. So Vincent, I was hoping to see you here. But good. Vincent, at toi la balle. Okay, so good afternoon, dear colleague. I am happy to be with you at this uh, midday here in, uh, in Kinshasa. I am currently in Kinshasa to support uh, a regional training on cholera. Uh, regarding the cholera situation in uh, Africa, uh, I want to state that uh, 2021 was an unprecedented year in the continent. Uh, we reported uh, uh, more than 137,000 cases and uh, for 462 deaths from 19 countries across the, the continent. In fact, West Africa was uh, the most affected sub-region with uh, uh, around 90% of these cases. This year, since uh, the beginning and up to week 23, we have already reported more than 21,000 cases and 341 deaths from 11 countries. So the trend we faced yes, last year is still on. We are seeing a displacement of the most affected sub-region from West Africa to Central Africa and to Eastern parts of the country. In face of this situation, we established last year a regional response team that was based in Lome in Togo. And this team coordinated the response to the cholera outbreak of not only in West Africa, but across the, the region. We had the two way of action, the response site to support the country that were experiencing outbreak and also a component of preparedness and readiness that we implemented in around 14 countries across the continent by supporting them to assess their readiness level and to improve the preparedness to, to cholera response. Uh, we think that uh, all of these uh, actions were useful because currently the trend is decreasing in West Africa. This year we had only cases in Nigeria and in Benin and these two outbreaks are now controlled and we are currently focusing in Cameroon, DRC, and the eastern part of, of the continent. Now, I want also to raise that we are supporting the countries to develop and implement the national cholera plan. We have across the region sea countries that have already validated and are implementing their NCP. We have DRC, Ethiopia, Kenya, Zambia, Zanzibar, and Zimbabwe. And of these countries, only DRC didn't follow the GTFCC uh, guidance, but currently they are updating their hotspot analysis in order to revise their NCP and fit it with the GTFCC recommendation. Uh, apart this C country, we are supporting 14 countries that are currently in process of analyzing their national cholera plan. Of these countries, we have four countries, Benin, 
in Nigeria, South Sudan, that already have their first draft of LCP. These countries are being supported by the country support platform by WHO Afro and the, uh, the GTFCC. Uh, in Afro side, we recruited consultants that we deploy in, for, in 10 of, of these 14 countries last year to support the process. And I think we are on good uh, track because all these countries have finalized the hotspot analysis. They have validated their hotspots and some of them are already conducting the situational analysis in order to develop the plan. But when we come to the implementation of uh, this uh, NCP, I need to raise that the progress in the, on, on the implementation side was is plagued by the low availability of the needed funds. In fact, the most visible activities are related to OCV preventive campaign because this is mainly supported by Gavi who provide vaccine and also by GTFCC who provide a, a vaccine and operational cost to this country to implement the, the vaccination site. But the other components are less funded. In fact, we are supporting the countries across the region to improve the surveillance. We are organizing also some wash projects we are currently implementing with the support of uh, uh, Hag and other colleagues in, in Geneva, a wash project in Gulf of Guinea that is targeting some country of this part of the, of the continent. I want to raise also that Africa has endorsed the regional framework for cholera elimination by 2030 in 2018 and our member states are implementing this framework. We are conducting a regular update and monitoring of the progress on this site. And by now we can state that we have coordination in at least 70, 17 countries in the continent. All the countries have cholera focal person. We have some rapid response team that are in place to investigate and provide first response. Capacity building in countries are being uh, improved, but the last outbreak of 2021 was a bottleneck in the progress because we targeted to reduce by half the number of cases in 2022, but now this objective we cannot reach it. And also we plan to have an, a CFR under 1%. And last outbreak was very, very deadly across the region. So we, are we, are, we will continue to support the countries to improve the implementation of this uh, regional uh, framework. We, I want also to raise that as part of the response established in Lomé last year, we are improving the country capacities to early detect and implement response. Currently, we are conducting a, a, a number of training. A total six workshop was were planned. We are completing the third workshop currently in uh, uh, Kinshasa. And we have so far trained 150 people from 13 countries. And we will continue this training in uh, Oda site in Nairobi, in Deras, Dar es Salaam, in Nigeria in the coming month and cover uh, 15 countries during this, uh, this training. The way forward on our site is to improve the implementation of the regional framework for cholera elimination by 2030, improve also the development of the NCP. We are planning to support 10 countries this year to finalize their NCP and we are on track on this. We are also planning to regularly assess the readiness level in the country across the, the region and provide supportive uh, action to, to improve the weaknesses that this readiness assessment will, will raise. And at the end, the challenge we are facing and who is still on is regarding the funding. 
I think we need more funding to complete the hotspot analysis in countries to support the cholera elimination plan, to conduct in country uh, training in hotspots because we need now, as we have already validated the hotspot across the region, we need to improve the implementation of, uh, uh, of uh, needed action in these hotspots. Many thanks for your attention. Merci Vincent. Uh, S'il te plaît, reste en ligne là.